Hallmark cards. When you care enough to send the very best, presents the Hallmark Hall of Fame. In this, our 14th season, it is again our aim to present television entertainment worthy of your time. Tonight, Ricardo Montalban, Bert Lahr, and Stanley Holloway star in the romantic delight which is currently New York's longest-running musical hit, The Fantastics, produced and directed by George Schaefer on the Hallmark Hall of Fame. Every boy is Christopher Columbus, discovering the world all by himself. Year by year, as he learns his way around, he finds the world is filled with wonders. Wonders that become even more wonderful when they are shared through an act of thoughtfulness. Then one day, a stranger comes to live at his house. Someone so little and helpless, someone big should really take care of her. So he does. Suddenly, he feels tall and strong and proud. And a curious little boy grows into a thoughtful big brother. As a boy grows older, his world expands to include others. He goes to parties with all the trimmings and remembers to say thank you. He meets a new boy, shares an adventure, and learns to lend a hand. And from little acts of kindness, solid friendships grow. Then one day, he has to play alone. The friend is sick. So he says he's sorry. Please get well soon. When mother's birthday comes along, he remembers, picks out something all by himself, wraps it as best he can, and gives it to her with love. And every act of thoughtfulness helps him know a little better what it's like to be a man. Hallmark understands a child, knows how to help him grow in thoughtfulness and love, by helping him find the right words to say what he feels. And when a child learns the quiet joy that comes from being thoughtful of others, his world is a small world no longer. Hallmark, when you care enough to send the very best. Try to remember the kind of September when life was slow and oh so mellow try to remember the kind of September when grass was green and grain was yellow try to remember the kind of September when you were a tender and callow fellow try to remember and if you remember then follow <laughs> try to remember when life was so tender that no one wept except the willow Try to remember when life was so tender that dreams were kept beside your pillow. Try to remember when life was so tender that love was an ember about to billow. Try to remember, and if you remember, then follow. Let me tell you a few things you may want to know before we begin the play. Uh, first of all, the characters. A boy, a girl, Two fathers. It is hard to know which is most important or how it all began. The boy was born, the girl was born, they grew up quickly, went to school, became uh, shy in their own ways and for different reasons. Read romances, 
studied cloud formations in the lazy afternoon, and instead of reading textbooks, tried to memorize the moon. One day, the girl began to notice something strange. Her uh, ugly duckling features had undergone a change. In short, she was growing pretty. And the shock so stunned and thrilled her that she became almost immediately, incurably insane. Observe. The moon turns red on my birthday every year, and it always will, until somebody saves me and takes me back to my palace. That is a typical remark. She has a uh, glue-paste necklace, which she thinks is really real. I found it in the attic with my mother's name inside. It's my favorite possession. It's her fancy. It's my pride. I am 16 years old, and every day something happens to me. I am special. I am special. Please, God, please, don't let me be normal. I'd like to swim in a clear blue stream where the water is icy cold. Then go to town in a golden gown and have my fortune told. Just once, just once, just once before I'm old, I'd like to be not evil but a little worldly wise to be the kind of girl designed to be kissed upon the eyes. I'd like to dance till two o'clock or sometimes dance till dawn. Or if the band could stand it, just go on and on and on. Just once. may be a wee bit briefer because it's pretty much the same. There is this girl. That is the essence. There is this girl. I warn you, it may be monotonous. There is this girl. I'm nearly 20 years old. Studied biology. Had an education. I know the way things are. And yet, in spite of all my knowledge, there is this girl. She makes me young again, foolish. And with her, I perform the impossible. I defy biology and achieve ignorance. I've gone mad. And the reason, if you should ask me, is because there is this girl. You get the general idea, hmm? Now. Here is a wall their fathers built between their houses. They built it ages ago. Well, it was last month when I came home from school. They built it to keep us apart. Maybe she's there now. Oh, I don't know what to call her. She's too vibrant for a name. What shall I call her? Uh, Juliet! Yes, dear! I think she's there. Can you hear me? Barely. I've been speaking of you. To whom? To them. I told them that if someone were to ask me to describe you, I would be utterly and totally speechless. Except to say, perhaps, that 
You are Polaris, or the inside of a leaf. Speak a little louder. I love you. <laughs> if I were in the desert deep in sand, and the sun was burning like a hot pomegranate, walking through a nightmare in the heat of a summer day, until my mind was parched. Then you are water, cool, clear water, a refreshing glass of water. What, dear? Water. <laughs> love, you are love, better far than any metaphor can ever, ever be. Love, you are love. My mystery of love. love, you are Polaris, the one trustworthy star. You are, oh, yeah. you are, oh, yeah. you are September, a special mystery to me. Mountain valleys, <laughs> the microscopic inside of a leaf. Oh, my joy, yes, I am his joy. My grief, yes, I am his grief. My star, yes, I am his star. My leaf, yes, I am his leaf. Oh, love, I am love. You are love. I am love better far than any man before can ever, ever be. Mystery. Moisture. There are a great many things I could tell you about myself. I was once in the Navy. That's where I learned horticulture. Yes, I'm a man of experience, and there is one thing that I have learned. Too much moisture is worse than none at all. Prune a plant, avoid water, and go easy on manure. Moderation, uh, that's the moral. Hmm, that's my son's foot. Oh, hello, Father. What are you doing up in that tree? Mm. Reading verses. I sent this boy to school, college, and I hope you know what that costs. Did he learn to dig a cesspool? Uh, no. He's up there reading verses. Son, you're an ass. There you sit every day while who knows what our neighbor is up to on the other side of that wall. He's a villain. I'll not have it. I'll, I'll, I'll strip down those branches where an enemy could climb. I'll, I'll line that wall with bottles. I'll, I'll, I'll jag it with glass. <gasps> what was that sound? Huh? Some little broken willow, some wounded bird. <laughs> Perhaps. We'll soon see. There's that stiffness again. The result of my Navy career. Oh, son, you're an ass. Now, I, I decided you need to be married. So I went wife shopping this morning and picked you out a pearl. <gasps> There's that sound again. But what if I prefer a diamond? How dare you prefer a diamond when I just offered you a pearl? Listen, Father, listen carefully to what I have to say. And Wall, you may as well listen to 
I'll marry when I marry in my own particular way, without benefit of neighbor, without benefit of book, except perhaps her handprint as she presses her hand in mine, while kneeling, being joined by the joy of life, in the air, in the open, that's how I plan to wipe. Son, you need pruning. Go inside and write simplicity 200 times without stopping. Here you are. Drink away, open up your thirsty little mouths. That's the way. I'm her father. And believe me, it isn't easy. Perhaps that's why I love vegetables. They're so dependable. You plant a radish, you know what you're about. You don't get a turnip or a cabbage. While with children, I thought I had planted a turnip or, at worst, perhaps an avocado. Something remotely useful. What need do I have for a rose? There she is. Missy, you must go inside. I told you, I'm a princess. You are a schoolmaster's daughter. Our enemy's beyond that wall. He's up to something, I can feel it. Him and his no-good son, so come along. Go inside when you're told. Look out, look out, you're stepping in my peppers. Is she gone? Yes, she's gone. You lady, holy you lady. Bellamy, neighbor, friend. Well, it's nearly settled. What is? The marriage. They're, they're, they're almost ready. I hid behind the bushes to listen. They're out of their minds with love. <laughs> <laughs> If they knew we wanted them when. A prearranged marriage. They'd sooner be dead. <laughs> Children love it. Fantastic geese. How clever we are. How crafty to know. To manipulate children. You merely say no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dogs got to bark, got a mule's got to bray. Soldiers must fight, and preachers must pray, and children, I guess, must get their own way the minute that you say no. Why did the kids pour jam on the cat? Raspberry jam all over the cat. Now why should the kids do something like that? When all that we said was no. My son was once afraid to swim. The water made him wince. Until I said, you mustn't swim. It's been swimming ever since. It's been swimming ever since. Oh, dogs got to bark, a mule's got to bray. Soldiers must fight, and preachers must pray. And children, I guess, must get their own way the minute that you say no. Why did the kids stick beans in their ears? No one can hear with beans in their ears. After a while, the reason appears. They did it, cause we said no. Your daughter brings a young man in, said, do you like him, Pa? Just tell her he's a fool. And then, you've got a son-in-law. You've got a son-in-law. Oh, sure as the June comes right after May, sure as the night comes right after day, you can be sure the devil's to pay the minute that you say no. Make sure you never say no. Problem left. How to end the feud? Yes. We mustn't let them know. I think I have the answer. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's delicious. Very theatrical. Tell me. Uh, an abduction. Who's abducted? Your daughter. Oh. 
Who abducts her? A professional abductor. I sent for the very man. Gentlemen, good evening. Who are you? I was sent for. A maiden in distress. Oh, yes, yes, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> You're, uh, 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 El Gallo. <laughs> El Gallo. Oh, si, 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 si. That's what I was about to tell you. We, we hire this man to assist us. He starts to kidnap your daughter. My son rushes in to save her. Then a battle. I allow the boy to defeat me. Yeah, yeah. My son becomes a hero, and, and the feud is over forever. Hmm. How much for such a drama? That, senor, depends. You must have actors. Why? Well, the boy has to fight off pirates, uh, 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 Indians, and, and uh, brigands. Mm. What, is the, uh, what is the cost? Well, that, senor, depends on the number of actors. One gold coin per actor. Oh, well, not more than four. Money doesn't go on trees. I'm only a retired schoolmaster. For a first-class abduction, I would recommend at least uh, six. Six? Uh, well, uh, we've dabbled in amateur theatrics. Perhaps we could assist you. Have you ever done uh, romantic drama? <laughs> that, senor, has been my speciality. Here's a devotee of the bard. You say a cue, you'll see. <laughs> Try me. Friends, Romans, countrymen. I... I beg your pardon? Friends, Romans, countrymen. No. Oh, don't tell me. I'll get it. I'll get it. Now, let me see. Friends, Romans, countrymen. Lend oh, me your... yes, yes, of course, of course. That's easy. Why don't you give me something hard? <laughs> Friends, Romans, countrymen. Screw your courage to the sticking place. And be not sick and pale with grief. For that thou, her handmaidens, should be far more fair than she. How's that? Marvelous. But as actors, you must fight to the death. You must die for love. Oh, try me. I'm God. Huh. Oh. 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 Huh. Oh. Oh. Oh! 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 How's that? Now you better go inside and rehearse your parts. I'll set the stage. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll coach him. <laughs> Lovers must have moonlight. Amazing! Go ahead, gentlemen, get into costume and makeup. The children must not recognize you. I'll be an Indian. I'll be a pirate. Right. You wonder how these things begin. Well, this begins with a season, which for lack of a better word, we might as well call September. It begins with a forest where the woodchucks woo and leaves wax green and vines entwine like lovers. Try to see it, not with your eyes, for they are wise, but see it with your ears. The cool green breathing of the leaves celebrates sensation. Recall that secret place. Oh, you've been there, you remember? That special place where once, just once, in your crowded, sunlit lifetime, you hid away in shadows from the tyranny of time. That spot beside the clover where someone's hand held your hand and love was sweeter than the berries or the honey or the stinging taste of mint. It is September before a rainfall, a perfect time to be in love. Hear how the wind begins to whisper. See how the leaves go streaming by. Smell how the velvet rain is falling out where the fields are warm and dry. Now is the time to run inside and stay. Now is the time to find a hideaway. And 
deceit Soon it's gonna rain, I can tell Soon it's gonna rain, what are we gonna do? Soon it's gonna rain, I can feel it Soon it's gonna rain, I can tell Soon it's gonna rain What'll we do with you? We'll find poor limbs of a tree. We'll build four walls and a floor. We'll bind it over with leaves and run inside to stay. Come run inside to stay. For soon it's gonna rain. I can feel it, I can see it, run inside. And then we'll let it rain. And we'll let it rain. We'll not feel it. Then we'll let it rain. Then we'll let it rain. It never stops at all. And we'll let it rain. Why complain? We'll live and love within our walls. Happily we'll live and love, no cares at all. Happily we'll live and love statues. I wonder if they can hold it. They'll try to, I suppose, and yet it won't be easy to hold such a pretty pose. We'll see. We'll leave them for a little, then we'll see. In a moment, we'll return for the second act of the Fantastics of the Hallmark Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> what 
are you doing this Halloween? Hmm? Why not have her brew up a magic instant party? How about it? Hmm? As every witch worth her witchcraft knows, it takes a few spooky scares to make a Halloween party a big success. So here's what our friends stirred up with some practical help from Hallmark. Frightening placemats and napkins, terrifying plates, scary cups. Now, come along and meet the biggest, wide-eyedest bat you've ever seen. His regular haunt, any fine store that carries Hallmark cards. There he is, flat in an envelope for just $1.50. And here's that party-loving creature we met earlier. Right nearby are all the matching party accessories. And remember Hallmark Halloween cards for children who can't come to the party. And for grown-ups, these bewitching characters that hide out on Hallmark contemporary cards, the fun kind. So look to Hallmark magic to turn October 31st into a real celebration. Be prepared for all other important events, too, with this Hallmark Thoughtfulness album for $3.95. With a space to keep track of birthdays and anniversaries and a place for the cards. See the Hallmark Thoughtfulness album with a supply of 15 cards at any fine store that features Hallmark cards. play is not done. Oh, no, not quite. For life never ends in the moonlit night. And despite what pretty poets say, the night is only half the day. So, we would like to truly finish what was foolishly begun. For the story is not ended and the play is never done until we've, all of us, been burned a bit and burnished by the sun. Hot. What? It's hot. Oh. He looks different in the sunlight. I'm not really ready to get married yet. I was a fool to tear down that wall. I hate people tromping about in my garden. I thought he was taller somehow. When you get right down to it, she's only the girl next door. You're about to drown that magnolia. Sorry. You are standing in my kumquat. <laughs> Sorry. Gentlemen, my bill. Look, it's my band. Hey, what is this? Look at that, look at that. Look at that villain's fee. Fee? For what? It's an itemized bill for your pretty little abduction. You mean it wasn't real? The bandit, the moonlight? We arranged it. But the feud? And the wall? Built to fall. I don't believe it. Read on, Macduff. But it isn't fair. We didn't need your moon or bandits. We're in love. We could have made our own moons. My child. How can we you spoiled everything? Me? I told you it wouldn't work. You told you. You liar. Get out of my kumquat. <laughs> that for your kumquat. That does it. You're a murderer. And you're a fool. I'm going to build up this wall. I too. I'm going to line mine up with bottles. I'll drag mine with glass. Lord, I'm a fool. Always bragging. Don't be sarcastic. I shall be sarcastic whenever I choose. And I think you'd better grow up. Grow up? Grow up? You're childish. Childlike. You're silly. Soulful. And you have freckles. That's a lie. Ooh, I can see them underneath those pounds of powder. Look. Oh, I hate you, the bold hero. Ha! Huh? You're adolescent. 
Beyond that road lies adventure. I'm going to take my hair down and go swimming in the stream. You'll never hear of me again, my dear. I'll sit up all night and sing songs to the moon. I'll drink and gamble. I'll grow a mustache. I'll find my madness somewhere out there. I'll find mine too. I'll have an affair. Goodbye forever. See if I care. This tear is enough, this tiny tear, to save the entire world. A boy may go, the girl must stay. Thus runs the world away. Beyond that road lies a shining world. Beyond that road lies despair. Beyond that road lies a world that's gleaming. People who are scheming. Beauty, hunger, glory, sorrow. Never a pain or care. He's liable to find a couple of surprises there. There's a song he must sing, it's a well-known song, but the tune is bitter and it doesn't take long to learn. I can learn. That pretty little world that beams so bright, that pretty little world that seems delightful can burn. Let me learn, let me learn. to come there and learn. Who knows, maybe, all the visions I can see may be waiting just for me to say, take me there so I he can see it, he can see it, shining somewhere, shining somewhere. Those lights not only glitter, but once there, they burn. I can see it, who knows, maybe, all the visions I can see, may be waiting just for me to say. I can see it, shining somewhere, say, let me see it, say, So I know that it really may be just what I've always waited for. This is what my life's created for. Let me learn. And so we let him go. Now grant me in your minds a month. October is over. And the sky grows gray. It's a little bit colder. We are one month older. Ah, that's fine, fine. Nothing like a good thick wall. Keep working, friend. Keep working. Still progressing? Oh, good. We want it finished before snowfall. Hmm. <laughs> Getting colder. Are you addressing that remark to me, sir? Certainly not. We're not speaking. Oh, by the way. Uh, yes. Oh, nothing. No, 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 no. <laughs> What's so funny? I, I was just thinking how we used to meet. What? Uh, sneaking through the wall. Uh, secret meetings. <laughs> just to play a little game of cards. Mm. <laughs> How's your son? Not a word. He'll come back when he's run out of your money. Thank you. 
And your daughter? Like a statue. Does nothing but dream all day. Mm, pity. Oh, by the way, mm. how's your garden? Oh, growing. Mine too. So dependable. Gardens go on growing. Oh, yes, indeed, they do. I tell you, I love vegetables. True, I love them too. Plant a radish, get a radish, never any doubt. That's why I love vegetables, you know what you're about. Plant a turnip, get a turnip, maybe you'll get two. That's why I love vegetables, you know that they'll come through. They're dependable, they're befriendable. They're the best pal a parent's ever known. While with children, it's bewildering. You, you don't, don't know, know until the seed is nearly grown. Just what you've sown. So plant a carrot, get a carrot, not a Brussels sprout. That's why I love vegetables, you know what you're about. Life is merry if it's very vegetarian. A man who plants a garden is a very happy man. Beanstalk, get a beanstalk, just the same as Jack. Then, if you don't like it, you can always take it back. But if your issue doesn't kiss you, then I wish you luck. For once you've planted children, you're absolutely stuck. Every turn is green, every kidney bean, every plant grows according to the plot. While with progeny, it's hot progeny. For as soon as you think you know what kind you've got, it's what they're not. So plant a cabbage, get a cabbage, not a sauerkraut. And that's why I love vegetables, you know what you're about. Life is very, if it's very vegetarian. A man who plants a garden is a very happy man. A Yes. What do you see from up there? Oh, everything. Really? Practically. Do you see Matt? Do you care? No, I just wondered. Can I climb up there beside you? Well, you can, if you can. There. Is it fun to be a bandit? It has its moments. Tell me, what is your favorite plunder? I steal fancies. I steal whatever is treasured most. Precious rubies. Precious rhinestones. Rhinestones? Oh, can be precious. Depends on the point of view. Well, it doesn't sound very sound. Economically, I mean. Pretty child. Do you think so? Do I attract you? Somewhat. Oh, but that's splendid. Tell me, have you seen the world? A bit, yes. Is it like in the books? Well, it depends on which books you read. Take me there. Where? To the parties, to the world. You and I, together. Yes, dancing forever and forever. Round and round, neath the magic spell. Velvet gown, pink lapel. Life is a colorful carousel. Reckless and terribly gay. I'm ready anytime. If you'll take me, I'm ready to go. So show the way to me. I will try to be ready to go. I seem to see Venice where on a lagoon. A gondolier's crooning, a gondola tune. 
the air makes your hair below blue in the moon. I could swoon. You're so blue in the moon. Oh, look at the peasants. They're lighting candelabras. No, I believe they're lighting torches. You see, they've started burning the palaces. Oh, what fun. I adore pyrotechnics. That man, look out, he's on fire. He's burning. Just put up the mask. But he's burning. Put up the mask, then it's pretty. Oh, oh Fred, isn't he beautiful? All sort of orange, red orange. That's one of my favorite colors. You look lovely. We'll just die. We'll kick up our heels to music and dance Until my head reels with music just like a lonely real romance All we do is daily dance All we'll do is just dance All we'll do is just dance All we'll do is just Free! We'll I'm exhausted! But you can't be! The evening's just started! Round and round with the magic spell, held the down, pink lapel. Life is a colorful carousel, reckless and terribly gay. I'm ready any time, if you'll take me, I'm ready to go. So the show the way to be, I will try to be ready to go. We'll be in Benghazi or maybe Bombay. I understand India is terribly gay. The natives assemble on feast day and play. With their what a racket it makes. Oh, I think I'm going to love India. Such a big population, and I adore crowds. Oh, look, there's a faker with his assistants. They all know Yogi, and they're just loads of fun. There is one, a young one. They're putting him down on some nails. If he fails, he'll be cut to bits by those nails. Oh, someone help him! The mask! But he's bleeding! The mask! Horrible! The mask! We'll just dance! We'll make up our heels to music and dance! 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 What happens? I'll never, ever forget that kiss. I'll go now. Wait, uh, give me a trinket to pledge that you will come back. That uh, necklace. Was my mother's. Good. It will serve as your pledge. All right, then. I leave you this necklace because it is my favorite thing. Here, guard it. I won't be long. You will be here. Right here, I promise. Wait. Well, the prodigal son comes home. Don't leave her like that. It isn't fair. It's her misfortune. What do you care? She's too young. Ah. I said don't leave her like that. Oh, 
There is a curious paradox that no one can explain. Who understands the secret of the reaping of the grain? Who understands why spring is born out of winter's laboring pain? Or why we all must die a bit before we grow again? I do not know the answer. I merely know it's true. I hurt them for that reason. And myself, a little bit too. When the moon was young And the month was May When the stage was hung for my holiday I saw shining lights But I never knew They were you They were you They were you When the dance was done, when I went my way, when I tried to find rainbows far away, all the lovely lights seemed to fade from view. They were you, they were you, they were you. you too. Oh, you've been hurt. You should have told me. You should have told me right away. Here, let me bind it. Well, you've been hurt too? Yes. Look, it's beginning to snow. I know. Here, take my coat. No, both. There's room enough for both. Look. Shh, shh, shh. They've come back. It's a miracle. Let's take down the wall. No, leave the wall. You must always leave the wall. Deep in December, it's nice to remember, although you know the snow will follow. Deep in December, it's nice to remember, without a hurt, the heart is hollow. Deep in December, it's nice to remember the fires of September that made us mellow. Deep in December, our hearts should remember and follow. Hope you've enjoyed tonight's performance. Now, in a moment, the names of tonight's distinguished cast. Come now to a preview of Christmas as interpreted by artists and writers 
for this year's collection of Hallmark Christmas cards. Wander through a glittering forest of Christmas trees, reflecting again the imagination of Hallmark artists and the variety of interpretations in this beautiful world of Hallmark Christmas cards. Look what's happened to our friend Santa Claus this year. New shape, new styles, special new charm. As usual, you'll come upon many surprises in the world of Hallmark Christmas cards. Imaginative touches you expect from Hallmark. The widest selection of Hallmark Christmas cards find their inspiration in the events of the first Christmas. Famous masterpieces are reproduced exclusively for Hallmark by the House of Skira. Many new interpretations, too, by famous artists of today like Tyrus Wand, whose cards reflect the Orient's delicate simplicity. Whatever Hallmark cards you choose, it will have the distinction you want in the cards that represent you in the homes of friends. Now is the best time, before the Christmas rush, to choose your cards from Hallmark albums and have them imprinted with your name. Choose the message and style of lettering you prefer on the cards with the famous Hallmark and Crown when you care enough to send the very best. Next on the Hallmark Hall of Fame, a special program to honor the 90th birthday anniversary of Winston S. Churchill, soldier, statesman, orator, author, man of the century. A personal and perceptive look into a little-known facet of his amazing life. Don't miss The Other World of Winston Churchill on November 30th. Next on the Hallmark Hall of Fame. <laughs> at this time. See the Rose. Hi, everybody. This is Andy Williams. Tomorrow night, it will be my pleasure to welcome the big man with the big horn, Al Hurt, and the pride of Tennessee, that little old pea picker, Tennessee Ernie Ford. Be sure to join us for the Andy Williams Show tomorrow night at 9, 8 central time, in color, here on NBC. This has been a Compass production. This is Lee Vine speaking. The Hallmark Hall of Fame was brought to you with the best wishes of the fine stores where you buy Hallmark cards.